Okay, I'm Matt from the IOF.com and I'm here to show you how to transfer your mail databases. So say you've got another user on your computer or a new computer and you're not using Migration Assistant and you'd like to transfer your mail. You can see here I've got the iLife's account just default, brand new, never opened mail before. Um, you can see that nothing's been set up, so we're just going to close that for now. And I'm going to use fast user switching to log into the account that has the mail database that we want. Right, so we're now in the user account who has the mail database that we want. I'm going to navigate to the root hard drive, which in this case is Mumpy. This is the hard drive that is running Leopard. Now within here, we're going to go to the users folder. And within the users, you can see myself and the iLife, which is the account that we want to have the mail transferred to. So we're going to navigate to myself, who has the mail information. And then within there, we're going to go to library. Right, and within here, we're going to find a folder that is titled mail. Right here. Um, this folder contains the databases and all kinds of bizarre preferences and information regarding to your email accounts. So you can see I have quite a few. Um, I do use them all. And we're going to take that folder and transfer it somewhere where the other user can access. So in this case, I'm just going to transfer it to my external hard drive, which is called Poink. I'm going to wait for this to copy. All right, with that done and transferred, we're just going to do one more thing while in the user. Um, we are going to go to the folder called Preferences, which you can see the mail, and then we want to go to Preferences. Um, within this folder, it may be uh, very confusing and hard to find what we're looking for. So I recommend that if you're not already doing it, go to View, Keep Arranged by Name. This will make things a lot easier to find. So we're going to look for a file or a preference file that is called com.mail, I'm sorry, com.apple.mail.plist. And that should be somewhere around here. Um, iChat, iMovie, iPhoto. Do, 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 do. Aha! Here it is. Com.apple.mail.plist. And also you can see com.apple.mail.searchhistory.plist. That you may want to bring over as well, but the most important one is the mail.plist. So we're going to take these two folders, or preference files, I'm sorry, and we'll just copy them. So do command C, go back to the external hard drive where I'm putting the mail folder, do command V, paste them. Now they're in the external hard drive and we can log out of this user. So I'm going to go back to the user who wants the new mail data. Alright, so now we're back into the user who wants the new mail information. And we've got the information sitting on my external hard drive or wherever it may be. Could it be flash drive, could be network drive. And we are going to have to do one more thing before we proceed. You can see that within this folder, which is mail, that we have a little problem with our preferences here. Um, you can see that there is a stop or a do not enter symbol by it, and that is because we do not have preferences or permissions, I should say, 
to access this file. And you can see that Matt has read and write access and everyone else has no access. So we're going to have to change that. Now, some people who are proficient with Unix and the terminal, you know how to do that through the terminal, or maybe not. But we're going to do a little simpler way through GUI. So I'm going to go online and find this application. Type in batch mod. And this is what the application is called. You can go to your favorite Mac update, version tracker, or the developer's website. I'll just go to Mac update. Right, and once we're on Mac Update's website, we will just hit download now to download this. This is freeware, so it's do not have to pay for that, which is nice. And while this is downloading, I'll just close this window. Okay, so it is downloaded and is mounted to DMG. I'm going to take the application and put it into my applications folder. Now I already have it sitting there, so you're not going to see this message, but I'm going to press replace. So I'm going to wait for that to copy over. All right, so we can close Safari and unmount this DMG. And I'm going to go to the Applications folder. Oh, and you can see it's not organized by name, so I'm going to go to View arrange by name and we're going to go down to B and here's batch mod. While it's loading we're going to go to the external hard drive or place that you put the mail information and we're just going to leave that open for when batch mod decides to load. Alright here it is. So the first thing we're going to do is going to take the mail folder that you want to give access to the user to. Now make sure this is not your mail folder that's on the user because doing this will screw up the permissions and you will not be able to use it. So don't want to mess with that. You have to be very careful when you're using batch mod or any kind of permissions changing as to not mess it up so you cannot use it again. So I'm going to take the mail folder and put it into batch mod right here where you see file you could also do it by pressing file and navigating to it, but that's just a little shortcut. And we see that the owner is Matt Dodd, and we're going to change that to the iLife, because we want to be the owner of this. Now again, I just want to stress that make sure that this is the copy of the mail folder and not the original one. You do not want to change preferences, excuse me, permissions on that folder. So now that we selected the iLife as the owner as not Matt Dodd we will just make sure we check apply ownership and privileges to the enclosed files and folders and hit apply and Batchmod is going to ask us if we want to apply these privileges and we will say yes or apply Gonna ask us for our admin password. Okay, and it's done. But we'll go to the other two folders that we want or preferences, uh, and we are going to drag them the same way into batch mod. Right here. Gonna select the iLife and we will hit apply All right. and the same thing with the last preference we'll just drag it back into batch mod select the user we want and hit apply okay we're done with batch mod we can close that now and uh, you see mail is updated we now have permissions to go through and access this. Put it back where it was so mail can access it. So we're going to go to the user's home directory, open up library, we're going to arrange